everybody. This is Peter back with another video for the 22 Cruise. Thanks for joining us today and checking out this latest video on our 2018 Ford Raptor. So this is the first modification that we're doing to the Raptor. Shortly after I got the car, I went off-roading at night and was trying to utilize the spotlights that are on the side of the truck, which I'm demonstrating here. I quickly found out that once you exceed five miles an hour, the lights turn off, which is a real shame when you're off-roading in between tight trees in the middle of the night. So this is a tutorial on how to take care of that. First thing is pop the hood. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery this car takes a 10 millimeter socket, so pretty standard for almost any battery connector. The actual module is located underneath the driver's dash right above the gas pedal. You can kind of see it here, and I'll stop the video. And you can see there's a pin in the back and then two little hook pins. So just push the pin out, rotate the module out, and then it will hang free. Next I found pushing on that front button and lifting on the back with the screwdriver was the easiest way to get this green connector out. After that you just simply press in on the black connector and it slid right out. What we're going to be doing here is actually removing one of the wires inside this system and then jumping to the other side. To take this white piece out you had to use two little uh, screwdrivers here to pull that system out. Once that's out, then you can really pull the pin out. So what happens is Ford has a grayish pin that is only providing power under five miles an hour. So once you go over five miles an hour, you theoretically turn those lights off. It cuts the power to them. Now the wire that's right next to that is 12 volts all the time. So what we're gonna be doing is jumping 12 volts that is constant to the hole from where that one pin is removed from, the pin that shuts off after five miles an hour. So I created a jump wire. Simply took the insulation off of it, then spun it in my hand real quick to make sure that all the wires were tight jumped those two wires so now it has a constant 12 volt connection no matter what driving scenario you're in and then put the wire connectors back into the module to cover up this one wire because it will still have 12 volts running to it at five mile an hour or less i took a piece of heat shrink that was very tight and slid it over that so that it didn't rub against anything underneath the dash or cause a short anywhere now you could take a torch to this and heat shrink that. I didn't find that necessary with how tight this was. And just in case for some reason, if I ever wanted to return the car back to stock, which I don't believe I ever will, I could. That's it. Once you're done with that, you put everything back together, put the, hook up the battery, and then take it for a test drive. As you can see here, I have the spotlights on as I'm backing out of the garage. You'll see them on the side of the mirror there. I do two drive-bys here. One drive-by I'm going about 15, 20 miles an hour, and the other one about 25, 30 miles an hour. You'll notice that the lights stay on regardless, which is exactly what I wanted. Now I have to tell you one warning here. These lights will stay on anytime, so as long as you press that button, these will come on because they're constantly getting that 12 volts. They are LED lights, so they're very, low probability of draining your battery, but they possibly could. So just be mindful of that. Other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching the first modification to our 2018 Raptor. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, follow us on Instagram at the 22 Cruise, and let us know what you want to see next. We have 15 different vehicles to show you. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And again, thanks for watching the video. We'll catch you next time.